Hello, I'm Mira and welcome to Flow with Mira. Today we're going to spice up our traditional flow Pilates practice with this little awesome Pilates equipment called the magic circle or the ring. It's going to assist you to dig deep into the deepest muscle you thought you never had and give you that extra challenge. Sounds great? Come and join me on a mat. So we are going to stand first for the start of the class. Have your feet about as wide as your pelvis and then take your arms and grab the ring overhead. So reaching tall to the sky and we're just going to start with some beautiful side stretches here. So over to your right as we inhale, we will reach out. Exhale, come back to center. Over to the left as you inhale, lengthening the ring away like a halo. Exhale, and continue going to the right and left as you breathe. You know, I'm so glad that some of you have requested this awesome magic circle class because this particular apparatus is very dear to me. So I was a dancer and uh, whenever we had a break, just keep stretching, we always grab a ring and start squeezing the rings in the inner thighs in hope to have stronger inner legs to help us with our pirouettes and standing on one leg and our ala socon, which is leg out to the side. So here we are doing a magic circle class. So thank you for your request and come back. Let's do one more set in breath. Exhale. And if you have any other requests of what class you'd like me to do, and you can always um, send a comment below and come back. Okay, let's take your arms forward. And now have your feet again about as wide as your pelvis. We're going to do some footwork here. So we're going to inhale, exhale, in breath, exhale, inhale. Keeping our spine nice and tall. As we lower, inhale, we're just going to warm up our hip and our inner thighs. In breath, exhale, and exhale. Let's do three more. In breath, exhale, two, as slow as you can, keeping the spine stretch. One, last one. Okay, have your arms overhead, bring your feet a little closer, just a tiny little bit, and rise up onto the ball of your feet. So you are on a releve here. Now hold the feet, we're in breath. Exhale, and keep the rotation of the hip as you go down, and making sure your knees are going over your feet. And in breath, you're gonna feel that extra sort of engagement that you need to help you balance in this position in your inner thighs. And exhale, keep going, and in breath. Exhale, and in breath. Exhale, two more. Exhale, last one. Exhale, stretch the legs, lower the feet, and let it go and then bring the legs together. Now it's time to work the arms. So we have our hands. I'm going to come forward. You can stand on your legs. I'm just going to come closer to you. We're going to have your hands in front here with the elbows bent. Okay. So nice and tall. And we exhale. We squeeze in as much as you can. And in breath. And exhale. Again, still standing tall here. Exhale. In breath. And exhale. Keep going. In breath. I'm standing tall as I squeeze the ring as if you want to break the ring. You will not, but as if you want to. And two more. Exhale. Last one. And. Okay, now straighten the arms and then we're going to squeeze. I'm coming forward and again we squeeze and out. 
and shh. Keeping the shoulders nice and open, keeping the neck nice and long. Again, squeeze and out and stand tall and out and two more. Last one. Okay, overhead. All right, reach tall and we go and out. Exhale, it's a lot of work here. Exhale, exhale. Now central through your spine and you can squeeze the ring as much as you can without bending the elbows too much. So you'll have a little sort of bend through the elbows, keeping the arm as straight as possible without going into hip extension. And, and two more. Last one. Okay, let it go. Uh, let's go to it. your right arm first. Place the ring on the side of your hip. You are going to stand nice and tall here, and then you're going to press that right arm in. The shoulder stays down and release. Again, I'm coming forward so you can see what's happening with my pelvis and the ring. And release. Exhale. You got that? Right, nice and tall to your center. And release. Again, three more. Exhale. And out. Two more. And out. Last one. Okay, right. Feel that in your triceps, hey. And let's have the, um, the ring or the circle on your shoulder here. Okay, you place it down on your shoulder and you press the circle or the ring downward to the shoulder and as you do that make sure that you don't lift that shoulder up and press down right you want to keep the spine again long and the shoulders nice and wide and exhale so i'm coming closer so you know what's happening here i'm pressing down and i'm pressing down my elbows are nice and wide and press and two more and press and last one press okay and shake it out over to the other side so left hand we've got the side arm press nice and tall opening through the front of the chest and exhale and out. shoulders nice and easy down out and three and two, here we go, and one, and release. Now over the shoulder, place the ring on the shoulder girdle, keeping the chest wide. Again, we want to make sure that you don't elevate that shoulder up, and then we press, and out, and we press, and release. Standing up nice and tall, standing up nice and tall. Let me rephrase that again. And three more, two more, last one, and release. Okay, shake it all out. Okay, so you're feeling a little warmer now. So let's go to the floor. Okay, lying supine. And let's work our adductors, which is the inner thigh muscle. Half the ring in between your thighs. Now, I want your feet to be as, what do you call that? As hip width apart as possible. So if there's a string that's attached from your sitting bone, it'll go straight out towards the heel there. Okay. Now your pelvis should be in a comfortable neutral position. So if you just look up or lift your head up and look at your pelvis, the right and the left hip bone should be at the same level there. And then when you relax the ring, your knees or your thigh should be at the same angle opening there. Okay, once you've got that, arms long by the side, and we breathe out, we squeeze the ring. Can we get the thigh in line with the center of the hip? Ooh, I'm shaking. And then inhale, release. Exhale, so squeeze as much as you can. 
and inhale. So this brings back a memory. Like I just mentioned here at the start of the class, during break time, we'll be on our back, squeezing as much as we can so that our inner thigh can be stronger, so that we can actually do our pirouettes and all those fancy legs movement and be balanced. So we go, exhale, and two more. Exhale, squeeze, you really feel the inner thigh connected to your pelvis. And try to get the pelvis nice and stable so you don't have to rock the pelvis, yeah? Last one. Okay, now we're going to combine this with our chest lift. So interlacing your fingers, place your hands at the back of your head. Elbows are off the floor. So we exhale, we gather our thighs, squeeze in, we gather abdominal, we lift the chest up. We hold on inhale, we exhale, go down and we release the ring. And exhale, squeezing, melting the back down, use the abdominal to help yourself up. In breath, find length, exhale, and lift, in breath, and exhale. Can you feel heat coming through your inner thighs? Just nod your head. If you do, I'm nodding my head a lot. And then release. Last one. Exhale. We're feeling it. We're feeling it. It's good. Stay on the in-breath. Exhale. Now just release the thigh. I want you to stay up. Reach your arms forward and grab the ring. And then bring the legs to a parallel position. Now hold on to the ring. Chest lift with rotation. Over to me. We breathe out. In breath, center. Other side. In breath, center. Making sure that the ring or the circle is in one straight line alignment with your chest. So you're rotating from the waistline. In breath, center. Exhale. In breath, center. Exhale, reach. Inhale, can we bring the circle over your knee and over to the other side? One more each side. Stay up there. Lift. Stay up there. Last one. Rotate. Can we lift a little higher? Take an in breath. I think we got more in us, shall we? Deflate the belly and reach up. Bring that ring over the knee. Hold. And release. Brilliant. Take one leg up to tabletop. And second leg up to tabletop. And again, bring the ring in between the circle or the ring in between our inner thighs. Take your arms overhead. I changed my mind. Take your arms down by the side of your hip. Keep the leg on 90 degree angle of the knee joint. Then we exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze. So squeezing is the theme of the class today. Squeeze, squeezing the inner thighs. And we are going to be superhero after this with amazing strong inner thighs and release. Three more times. Exhale and release. Two more and release. Last one. Oh yeah, and release. Then you can circle your arms overhead. So just engage 5% of the inner thighs and keep the ring together in between your thighs. For the hundreds prep, we exhale, we lift. In breath, arms and the head. Exhale, lift. Arms and the body down. And lift. Arms and down. Three more. Lift. Arms and down. Two more. Hold the ring and up. Last one. We stay up. Grab the ring. 
straighten the leg. We're going to bring the ring in between our ankles. They might be shaking a little bit, but hang on to that ring. Arms long by the side, release the head down. And we're going to squeeze, squeezing and release. Squeezing and squeezing as much as you can. And four and five. All right, three more. Two more. Last one. Okay, arms overhead for the hundred. So I'd like you to lower the legs to an appropriate height for you, but challenge yourself. Challenge. Okay, we lift. We lower if you want to. Squeeze about 5% between the ankles and we go. And inhale. Again, you don't have to lower the legs down. You can also have the legs up to the ceiling or have your legs bent. Whatever works for you today, okay? And we go. And inhale, lifting up till and exhale. Squeeze that ring of fire. Inhale. And and in breath. Can we create length as you inhale? So exhale, pull that center in and inhale, reach long. And exhale. And inhale, reach long. Two more sets. And inhale, reach long. Last set. And inhale, reach long, long. Hold. Pull the ring in or pull the knee in. Grab the ring. Okay, lower one foot. And second, and release the head down. Okay, on to our modified roll-ups. They're shaking a little bit, aren't they? Mine are, just shake it out a little bit. Now I want you to turn the ring, so they're same line as your arm. And bring the arms overhead. So the roll-up, you can have the knees slightly longer, but keep them bent for now. And we may straighten the legs if that's available for you today. So we inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, we peel the spine up, bringing our body over your legs. In breath. Exhale, sending the pelvis back to the floor. Lower spine to the floor, then the arms overhead. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come up to that C curve. In breath, exhale, roll back down. Melt a lot back onto the floor and arms overhead. One more like so. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring your body over the hips, over the hips. In breath, exhale as we roll back down to the floor and the arms go overhead. Now, you can actually straighten the legs if that's okay for you. So the traditional way, you can keep your legs bent. I'll leave it to you. Inhale, chest lift, there. Exhale, lift up and over, create a beautiful C curve. And we roll the spine back, get the sacrum down, Get the sacrum down, get the lower spine down, then the arms come over. Inhale, lift up to the sky, then forward to your feet. Exhale, up and over. In breath. Exhale, roll the sacrum, roll the lower spine, roll the middle back and arms overhead. Last one here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, up, over, up, over, up, over, and then we lift our spine up. For our rolling like a ball, this one's a little tricky. You have to have a really good setup, or sometimes the circle may fly away. Okay, if it does fly away, take it back and reset. So you have the ring at the back of your thigh, and then the other end around your ankle. Then you squeeze that ring. You bring the heel closer towards your bottom. Have your hands in front of your ankle. Then we squeeze. So you're feeling that compactness of this leg. Right? Everything is pulling into your center. 
Okay, now take your feet off and balance on your tailbone. We inhale, roll, exhale. Now, this is a good checkpoint whether you fling your legs away when you roll back and forward. So technically, rolling like a ball, you need to maintain the shape of the body as you roll back and forward. And do not use the flinging legs to help you up. So here we go. Inhale, squeeze the ring. Use your upper abs to come up. And again, in brewer. Exhale. I love how everything has to work here with the ring. Everything feels really in my center from my shoulder, my arms, my legs, my knees, my pelvis, my head. It's all talking to my center. Last one. And balance. Relax. How did you go? Okay, let's take the ring away. Straighten the legs. Have them slightly wider than your pelvis. Ring in front of you for our spine stretch. Dorsiflex the feet. Sitting, boom, nice and tall. We exhale. We round the spine. Gently press the ring with the arm and with your center as we flex our spine forward and then slightly forward to your feet in breath keep the tension underneath the arm and through your upper abdominal exhale we roll the spine up now if the flexibility of the legs is not available for you today you may bend the knees that is absolutely fine by me but what i'm looking is a, a beautiful straight alignment a powerful alignment of the spine okay just adjust the legs as required we exhale we press we round we come a little bit forward in breath exhale we roll up we lift the spine tall exhale we press we come forward in breath, notice that my ring is slightly diagonally or tipping forward as I come forward. Exhale, and then I bring my ring back to a vertical alignment as my spine goes. And exhale, we round forward, in breath, and roll up, we lift. Last one, exhale, we reach forward, in breath. And then lifting up, lifting up, lifting up, lifting tall. All right, and let it go. Right, come face me. Face me. We are going to go to our side kick. So I want you to have the ring underneath the armpit girdle. And then squash the ring down. Two version. You may bend the knee for an extra more an extra support or you can have your legs straighten long to do the side kick all right bend the knees for an extra support or straighten both legs for a little bit more challenge most importantly that we are not sinking like this with the spine so lift off the floor in the waistline and the rib cage and grow with the spine. You can have your hand here, or you may have your hand behind the head like what I'm doing. Now we're feeling strong, good. Reach the top leg away with dorsiflex, and let's go. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, inhale. Continue. I love how the ring gives you that extra feedback of spring off the floor that you need to connect back to your center, that we're not sinking with the ring like so, right? So you're losing the whole thing. But when you work against that spring of the ring, you become stronger. And that's what we're looking for in Pilates. Two more. Inhale, reach. And last one. Inhale, reach, reach. Back to center and release take the knees in 
into a mermaid position. Try, if you can, have both sitting bone planted to the floor, if you can. If not, that's fine. Just do your best. Now we're going to have the outside arm or the inside arm here on the ring, lifting the other arm out to the side, right? My spine is nice and tall. Now gently press the ring. This is the mermaid, my version of the mermaid. We press down. So I'm engaging my lats into my center. Inhale, I spiral through my center. Exhale, I open through and release my arm. I press, I spiral through the axis of my spine and I open and let go of the ring tension. Two more, we press, inhale, give me length through the spine, looking far away in the horizon, out, and let go. Last one, and press, inhale, rotate. Now I want you to place the hand on the ring. So you have two hands now. Now, find more rotation if you need to, and then we stay tall, we press the ring. And two, as you press down, you grow taller for me. Uh, inhale, up with the ring. Exhale, grow taller. And two more. And last one. And hold the ring down. Open through the front arm. Rotate back to me. And release the ring and take the ring overhead, reach tall and side bend over to the other side. Reach the arm long, come back and let it go. Over to the other side. So we have our side kick ring or the circle underneath the armpit girdle. Rest your forearm down. Okay, let me get a comfortable position. Have the same leg position as you did on the other side. All right, work with the spring of the ring and not push it down and sink to the floor even more. All right, can we do that? We press down, we elevate, we feel strong and connected and stable through the spine. Top hand here or here. Then we take the top leg off, dorsiflex, and we go. In breath, exhale, in breath, exhale, in breath. The ring gives you a really good feedback and how much of a lift you need to get into your center. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, in breath, exhale, in breath. Two more, in breath. Last one, in breath, hold, back to the side, release, and let's come up for our mermaid. All right, have both sitting bone perching on the floor, if that's possible. Reach the arm long, open the other arm out for the mermaid. We press, inhale, spiral. Open, inhale, release, exhale, rotate, and out, inhale, release, again, two more, inhale, rotate, open, and release, last one, activate that lats muscle, inhale, rotate, and place both hands on the ring. Find extra rotation in you. All right, so we stay tall, we press. Lengthen, we press. Lengthen, we press. Lengthen, we press. Two more, we press. Last one, we press and hold. Let go of the front arm, rotate back, face me. And release the arm. 
Take the ring overhead, reach long and side bend over the opposite direction. Keeping the arms lengthening out. Exhale, go a little bit deeper with your stretch and let it go. Okay, it's time for the back extension. So onto our front. So I'm translating a um, back extension exercise on a wandered chair. It's an equipment for Pilates. It's called swan on the floor, on the wandered chair or on the chair. So we have the ring in front of you. Okay, now stretch the arm on top of the ring. Okay, now here, you got the power through your legs, yeah? So make sure that bottom, your sitting bone, is reaching through your legs. So your hamstrings are working, your glutes are activated, but they're not really clenching. They're just lengthening down through your feet. Your legs are in parallel position. Have your arms long, and you just have to adjust the ring where to where it's comfortable for you. Now, I want you to have your head in between your arms. So the same, your neck is long, the same line with the arms. Then here, feeling as you press, gently press the ring, feeling the arms drawing into your scapula, your shoulder blades, and your shoulder blades are drawing into your mid back. And you're going to press the outer armpit layer down to the floor as you press the arm and allow the upper back to lift, 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 lift. And then as the ring gradually spring up, you lower the chest down. So there's a lot of conversation happening in your body right now. You're going to connect your palms to your armpit, to your armpit, to your shoulder blade, your shoulder blade to the middle back and lifting through the front of the body. So let's go. Inhale, lengthening armpit, middle back, middle back, pressing down as you lift the front of the chest and exhale. Come back. I just love this exercise. How it's just so busy. So busy in your body. Inhale. We lift up. Allow that pressing down to assist you to lift higher. And exhale. And come down. Again, we inhale. We press the outer armpit. Let the outer armpit down to the floor as we lift the spine up, exhale, and release, and two more times, inhale, talk to your legs, stretch your legs away, talk to your belly, lift the belly up so that you can lift higher in your back, and exhale, come down, and so the whole body is working in one system, and inhale, nothing is left up. Lifting up, lifting up, lifting up, lifting up. And exhale. And come down. Okay, let that go. And bring your arms to the side of the shoulder. Push the floor away. Round the back. Sit the pelvis down to your heels for a quick stretch. Quick rest position. In breath. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. And we roll the spine up. All right. Almost finished. We're going to end the class with a really good breathing exercise. You may have your legs cross-legged or in a diamond position. Now, have the ring in the front, the lower part of the rib cage, and holding your ring like so. Okay? Now, nice and tall, so you should feel that beautiful lift in the spine after the last exercise. So, you may close your eyes, or you can just give the gaze a little lower and just listen to my voice. We inhale through the nose and we exhale through the mouth. Now, as you inhale, take a really deep, long inhalation. Feeling the ring is being vacuumed towards the back of the rib cage, and it's allowing the back of the rib cage to stretch 
and widen more, creating more space, copying or mimicking the shape of the ring. And then as you exhale, the ribcage deflates and you feel that but of a little sensation of the ring being spring out, being sprung out to the front of your body. We inhale the air that you take in through the nose, vacuum the ring to the back of the ribs, allowing the ribs to create more space and expand. Exhale, the ribcage retract and the spring the ring sort of spring away and inhale. Expanding the back of the ring and vacuuming that ring into the back. Exhale. So just play around with this breath. Take in as much air as you can. Observe how much can you really, really expand and how the ring can be an assistant for you today to work on your breath. As you inhale, you invite, you're inviting a really positive, strong energy into the ribcage, a good, good energy. Exhale, allowing the joint to relax, soften, and in breath, listening to you, listening to the music of your breath to the rhythm of your breath and observing, observing how your body react to your breath, especially around the rib cage, because we have the ring in front of the rib cage. Exhale. We're gonna do two more times here. But as we do it, really, really try to go deep into the body. Feel the sensation. Be sensitive to the sensation of the breath around the rib cage, around the back of the rib cage. Now I'm gonna do one more breath here, but I like to invite you, if you have the time, to stay with this breathing practice and you can finish whenever you want, whenever you feel ready. I'm just gonna finish the class, but you are welcome to stay and continue breathing. And if you are finishing with me, you may open your eyes slowly and let it go. If you are gonna still breathe for me, just stay in the same spot and continue breathing. Wow, thank you for doing and completing the whole class with me. Go away with that powerful, strong leg muscle that is going to support your pelvis today. Stand tall, be proud. All right, I'll see you back on the mat tomorrow. Okay, have a great day. Congratulations on completing the class, well done. I am Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free Better Postures in 5 Days program. Click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you a daily email with a 15 to 20 minute workout each day. This workout will work your whole body to help open, stretch and strengthen your posture. Your spine and body will love you. Don't forget to like and comment with any question you may have about Pilates. Subscribe and turn on notification so you don't miss any of my free Pilates video. See you in the next class.